Hello and welcome to World Inside. I'm Tian Wei. Today I'm in Shanghai at the CIIE, the world's largest import expo. Chinese President Xi Jinping delivered a keynote speech via video at the opening ceremony of this world's largest import expo. He said China is keen on high quality opening up and stands ready to work with all countries to build an open world economy. Over the last two decades, China has fully fulfilled the commitments it made when joining the WTO. Its overall tariff rate has been cut down from 15.3 percent to 7.4 percent, much lower than the 9.8 percent promised at the time. This year marks the 20th anniversary of China's accession to the WTO. For the past 20 years, China has been deepening reform and pursuing all-round opening up. The CIIE, where I am now, is literally living proof of that goal. And I had the honor of hosting the high-level session on this topic on the sideline of CIIE. Representatives from international organizations, business community, and academic world all shared their views on China, China and the WTO, and the expectations for the WTO and China's role within and beyond the organization. And here are some highlights. Minister Yi, you literally worked for WTO as the de Deputy Director General. And uh, yes, and also you work as the Vice Minister of uh, China's Ministry of Commerce. So I guess you know both worlds. Would you like to share with us at the very beginning your thoughts on the issue? Please, Minister Yi. Uh, China's succession to the WTO uh, in December 2001 has proven to be one of the most significant economic events both in our lifetime and in modern world history. China's historic accession created a win-win outcome. In bringing China under its umbrella, the WTO took a huge step toward its goal of universal membership and inclusiveness uh, as uh, the current DG said, without WTO, uh, without China, WTO cannot be called as a world trade organization. As a result of China's accession, one of the world's biggest economies now is playing by the same multilateral trade rule book as other trading, major trading nations. This is no small achievement particularly in terms of strengthening global trade governance and the multilateral trading system. China's successful accession has also inspired many other developing countries to join the WTO. Since 2001, both China and the world have seen trade flows rise rapidly with China experiencing a more than six-fold increase in the volume of its imports, a more than seven-fold increase in the volume of its merchandise exports, China also became a leading exporter and importer of services after joining the WTO. Since we are now in the import expo, let me show you some data on China's imports. From $244 billion in 2001, merchandise imports into China left to 2.06 trillion US dollars last year. I think that's the contribution of China to, to the world economy and uh, its trading partners in the WTO. But one thing you said very important, that is how to instill confidence to have a lower hunting fruit so that we can move at least in the positive direction multilaterally. We are now going to have Professor Stiglitz to speak to us again about the challenges of reform. The crisis of values and a power that is at the heart of what I think is at, at, at need for reform. Uh, power is reflected too in the way that the Trump administration essentially unilaterally hamstrung 
the dispute resolution scheme. And since the dispute resolution mechanism is at the heart of the WTO, this meant that a single individual or a few individuals in one country could undermine the global rules-based trading regime. Let's have a Richard. Mr. Kozel Wright from the UNCTAD, he is going to share with us furthermore on the same issue. Please. Since 2017, China has been the largest importer from other developing countries. In 2020, over 53 percent of China's merchandise imports originated in the South with a total value of over one trillion US dollars. Secondly, China has been a vital pillar in supporting multilateralism. Through various international mechanisms, not just the WTO, but also the United Nations, the G20, the BRICS, China has championed multilateralism and built solidarity among developing countries, notably the Belt and Road Initiative and its recently proposed Global Development Initiative have committed China to very concrete support to international and particularly South-South cooperation. 